Hey, yo, what's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Your boy, Mr. Gats, here in the building, D-O-A-G-H. And today, taking a look at Mega Man 10. All the DLCs out for it. I've had a chance to finally get a chance to sit down with it without trying to play Super Street Fighter 4. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Mega Man 10, the game that surprised the world, honestly, because I really didn't think it was going to happen. But, you know, I'm really glad Capcom did it, that they do see this as a viable game to come back to to make another one, and I do appreciate that. Now, here's our story, and I'm just going to try to summarize it quick and try to just interject stuff in between. What had happened was, bro, not feeling too good right now. She's feeling a little sick. And right about now-ish, we're going to see how bad it is. Boom. Roll fainting. What's going on is that Roll has come down with Roboenza, and it's affecting the majority of the robots in the world, and it's not a real good look. Look at poor Roll. She's not feeling good. Now, the early plot device would be that Mega Man's not sick yet. Proto Man's not sick yet. Bass is not sick yet because unless they were going to create a whole new hero for the game, they had to not be sick. You know, again, plot device. But, you know, enough about that for right now. Is that Mega Man 10, in my view, is that it's a lot different from 9. Not necessarily through gameplay and stuff, but what the game underlyingly tried to accomplish. In my view, Mega Man 9 was to make sure we never forgot Mega Man. Mega Man 10 was created to make sure that we always remember what 1 through 9 brought us and embrace it and embrace 10 and use that to make it a better experience and a better game for you. Now, about now-ish, it's about to go down. Um, let's see. Q Riot now. Oh, yes, the infected robots have started a soccer ride. It's not good. It's not good at all. And then, this happened. Now, y'all see this, right? Okay, yeah, y'all seeing the same thing I'm seeing on the screen, correct? Right? We, if you played a Mega Man game before, you know how this is going to end. So, I really don't really think it needs any explanation. All I have to say is Dr. Cossack, Proto Man, um, Mr. X, Bass, King. I don't think I need to say anything further. But I will say this in an interesting twist. The Japanese, the Japanese subtitle for this game is called Threat from Outer Space. Now, usually for the most part, the the subtitles to games in the in the Rockman series don't really mean anything, but that was really way out of left field because it doesn't make sense until the very end of the game. And I will give you that, and that's all of the spoiler you'll get from me at this time. Other than this screen that you're currently looking at, which is pretty much telling you that about halfway through the game is gonna go sour, and now. Oh, dude, Proto Man is so cool. Proto Man is a straight gangster. You can you cannot deny Proto Man. Real talk, you cannot deny him. Every time this man makes the entrance, a whistle comes. He just teleport in. He gets to talking all cool, and then he dip out. But he wants to help his brother, so I, I can't be mad at that. Cause Proto Man, yeah, he cooler than the other side of the pillar. You know what's up. Now. Now, normally the title screen doesn't look like this, but once you download Bass as a, uh, once you download Bass and add them to the game, it does change the title screen. So it is what it is. Because you might want to know that. And I like this. And I like to little opening thing too. Let's get into it. Now, here are all of your options on how to enjoy your game. Now we have game start mode. You know what that's about. We'll get into that later. Time attack mode. Now, time attack mode, it works the same just as in Mega Man 9. That you that you start out initially with the eight robot masters, and then once you play through the stages after the robot masters, those are added. And then when you hit the downloadable content, Anchor, Punk, and Belay stages are added as well. Now, the only thing that I did not like was that when you beat one of the 
one of the Mega Man killers that you do not get to see, like the cool little screen where Mega Man demonstrates the weapon or whatever, that would have been extra sweet. That would have that would have been the cherry on the cake right there. The cherry, the strawberry. I'm a fruit man. I love fruit. You know what I'm saying? Fight apples, whatever. But my point is, that would have been cool. But the other cool thing is, is that each of Edgar Punk and Balazs stages are remakes of Wiley Castle stages from the Game Boy game. So that's an extra little touch, and I do appreciate that they did bring that to the table. That was extra sweet. Now, Endless Attack is the same as it was in Mega Man 9, except you can only play as Mega Man. You can only play as Mega Man in Endless Attack mode. I really think, you know... The kind of ball dropped on that, but I do understand why. But, you know, I really would have loved to play as either Proto Man or Bass. would have been an extra cool feature. Now, the challenge mode is like, the challenge mode, like, if there are two separate challenges, like, these challenges right here that you're looking at now are more like the trial from Street Fighter 4, where what you do is you have to uh, perform a certain action. And what it does is that if you're trying to learn about, like, the little intricacies of the game, is that it really teaches you how to do that. And I really think that's a real, a real extra cool thing that they did. And the, and the second challenge is they're pretty much, they're linked to, like, the achievements or the trophies you were earn. We were talking about the PS3 or the 360 version. Let's get out of here. Now the ranking mode. Now ranking mode is real cool because in this game now when you play time attack mode is that you can upload your replay to the to the leaderboards I'm trying to say and then you can watch it. So if you trying to see how dude was 30 seconds faster than you and he uploaded his stuff, you can watch it and try to learn something new. So I really think that it really helps that it really helps bring the community together, and not on top of that, if you want to be a bracket, unless you do that as well. But, you know, it's more, for me, it's more of the educational experience. So when I get to sit down, when I want to try to get a little better at the game, I can watch somebody who's doing it better than me, and then I can become better through them, through education and just learning and watching. Options mode, the downloadable content stream, and that's about it. Let's get into it. Now, you can start a new game or load a game. We'll start a new game just for the sake of the review. And, you know, once you download all three characters, you have Mega Man, Proto Man, and Bass. Now, Proto Man is playable from the start. I did forget to mention it, and I didn't want to. But, you know, for the sake of the world, we will, I will use Bass to demonstrate the rest of the game to you. So, now, when you either play as Proto Man or Bass, is that it tells you that you can, when you clear the game, and then you won't reflect in the ranking. Only Mega Man... When you beat the game with him, it's only reflecting in the ranking, like how fast you beat it. But you can still do achievements and trophies and stuff with him, so if you try to use that edge, it's there for you. Now, there are three different difficulties. You have easy, normal, and hard. Hard is available when you beat the game once, and easy is always there for you. Now, what I really like about the difficulties is that technically, if you look at it, they're three different games because the games are different in their in their ways and that there are things that are added. Robot masters function and action act differently. So my suggestion would be to beat it on all three difficulties. I, I, I got, I got, I'm, a, I'm in the middle of a game on hard with Bass right now, so you know, I said ever since Super Mario 4 came out, I ain't been able, you know, to do nothing else. So it is what it is. And also, the only thing that'll be reflected in the rankings are, are um, that easy isn't reflected in the rankings. I don't think this time, but it is what it is. Now, here are robot masters. We have Blade Man, Chill Man, Nitro Man, Strike Man, Pump Man, Commando Man, Sheep Man, and Solar Man. Now, unlike Mega Man 9, a lot of these robot masters aren't really interesting. I think Sheep Man's cute, you know what I'm saying? Pretty snappy, stuff like that. Strike Man looks like a big ball. Nitro Man, the Transformer. Pump Man, I just think it's something creepy about that, but yeah, whatever. But, you know, but it's like, the thing with different between Mega Man 9 and 10 is what I'm bringing back to the point is that Mega Man 9 was an experiment. And that experiment was really good, and it was really overly good because I really don't think that Mega Man in the game had a more well-rounded arsenal of weapons that he could use, except technically you could probably say the Wily Tower and... In um in Mega Man um in Mega Man and Mega Man on the second Genesis because you can pick any weapon you wanted for the first few video games, but Mega Man Nine, 
But Mega Man 10, what it does is he tries to dumb it down a little bit, to try to balance it a little bit more. So if you get some weapons that are iffy, and you got some weapons that are good, but the, the thing about it is that all the weapons take a little more thought and a little more tactic to use in the correct manner, and I really love that about that. But let's go ahead and let's wrap this up. Mega Man 10 gets to 10, and here's why. Remember I told you earlier about the monster? Remember it is the monster here, and it's written all over, and it's written all over this game. You just have to take a look and look for it. Is that, that's what I love about this game, is that, is that it gives you these gentle reminders. Remember the Mega Man series. Remember the first nine classic games. Remember the Game Boy games. Remember them before they are the pillars that this game stands on. That's it for me. You know who it is, Mr. Mr. Dot Com. I'm out. Holla.